What's going on guys? Alright, so on the last two videos or so, I mentioned that I was going to throw some t-shirts together and I finally got around to doing it. I um, got them on teespring.com, I believe that's the site. Uh, pretty popular site to make stuff on, so I decided to go with them with a shirt design. Got two shirts. A hoodie. I think I got two hoodies on there. I think I did two different type of style shirts and hoodies. Uh, I got some stickers and I got some tune files on there as well. So if you're interested in uh, purchasing one of those, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm not forcing you to do it. But if you'd like to purchase a t-shirt or whatnot, it would surely help the channel out and on Project Coop here. So I'll leave the link down below if you'd like to purchase something. Like I said, be greatly appreciated, and uh, it will sure help the channel out for sure. Take it guys all right so today uh, well, I want to say today it's actually been a couple days now but um, working on the brake system on the car um, something I've been wanting, I needed to get done and I've been tackling it and having some issues here and there actually it's been a a learning process let's just say I've not really done much with brakes other than change rotors, drums, or pads, and stuff like that. But I've actually never, you know, did a complete master cylinder swap, having to bleed it, or anything along the line of that. So, it's been a learning curve. Uh, pretty much, it's been, like a bit, it's been a learning curve. So, uh, this is actually probably day three of me working on the brakes on this car and you know, I've been working on and off um, so uh, to start off um, the lines didn't have nothing in them basically starting like a brand new brake system uh, lines were dry and everything so what I did is basically open every uh, bleeder on the back and on the front so basically just let it just gravity feed and let it just run out to the floor I don't know if you can see it or not just run out to the floor and basically just do that instead of have run a vacuum and and all that which I don't have so I did that um, I kind of half asked uh, Brake bled the uh, master cylinder. I should have bench bled it on a vice or something, but I didn't do that because I don't know why. But uh, in the car, I bought one of these master cylinder bleed kits, and I'm pretty confident in it. Um, it did have some error in the master cylinder still, so uh, hooked that all up and ran did that and. I think it pretty much worked pretty well. Uh, it's not exactly 100% level. I did jack up the car just a little bit to help level a little bit. But I was able to pump it by foot and basically nothing but fluid was coming out, no more air. So I'm pretty confident there's no more air in the master cylinder. Um, from there, I put on a, a line one at a time and basically started the pasture side back rear then driver side rear pasture side front and now I'm doing the driver side front I believe that is the correct way to bleed brakes uh, I've always been told to bleed the furthest line from the master cylinder and I believe that will be the furthest line um, 
So that's how I've done it. And so far the pedal starting to feel really good and I still got one more to do. So I'm, I've never had manual brakes either. So I'm not hundred percent sure how the brakes supposed to feel, but, but you can hear, you can hear the, the calipers biting down on those rotors. So, I mean, the real ultimate test will be getting the car, you know, driving and actually test driving it, see how it feels. Uh, hopefully everything goes good. If not, I guess we'll be starting over and I guess just take the mass cylinder off. But, um, but like I said, I'm pretty confident I bench blow that uh, 100%. I didn't see no more air coming out of that master cylinder. So, like I said, I got I pretty much ran all of these already. And I'm by myself, so it makes it a little bit harder to do. So what I did is I got me a little Gatorade bottle here, put me a hole for the lines and another hole for uh, just let air escape. So basically up like this, and I'm gonna put onto your bleeder here. You basically just crack it loose. And got my hose all the way into the fluid. So when I pump it, when I let off pedal, it pulls up fluid and not air. So that's how I've been doing it because I'm a one man show. And so far, it's been working great. So, like I said, I just got this driver side left to do. Once we get done with that, hopefully. Uh, I'm gonna call it done, but the roll of the test is get it on the road and see how it feels. Well, basically I'm just driving around the block. I won't get on the highway or anything as of just yet, but around the block, see how it feels. And uh, see how it goes from there. But I'm gonna finish this driver's side up and I'll give you the Basically, I, the results, I'll tell you the results, how it came out. So let's finish this driver's side up and we'll go from there. All right, so I got my line on. As you can see, I already getting fluid through the line already. Kind of got up here. So uh, I'm just gonna pump the brakes and keep pumping until I don't see any air in the lines very crucial or very critical to keep your reservoir full you do not want to suck any air in if you do you basically got to start all over so just keep an eye on that uh, make sure that doesn't run dry whatsoever so let's get in here and we'll pump on the brakes Not sure you can see it, but it's pushing fluid. All right, so the driver's side's basically done. No, I take that back. Not if you can see it or not. Yeah, I see some air bubbles. So let's keep pumping. All right, so I got this line done. You can see there's no air in the line. I'm going right into my little bottle here. Uh, before you pull that little hose off, tighten it down, tie the bleeder, uh, uh, screw down, and then you can uh, take your little line off. Be sure to, you know, to. Uh, Pinch, pinch the line and pull it off because you don't want to get brake fluid everywhere. Uh, brake fluid will strip paint. So, just a heads up. Uh, you want a, you know, easy paint stripper, brake fluid will take it off uh, easily for you. So, just keep that in mind when you mess with brake fluid. So, basically I'm down to the low mark. I'm just going to top it off to the max and we're gonna call it done for right now until we are able to do a little test drive and hopefully it comes out good. But like I said, we won't know until we start 
get in the car on the street and see how it feels. All right, so I've got the brakes pretty much done. Won't really be able to test it out till we get the car driving and everything. Uh, I'm glad we got that done. I think now I want to take care of getting things clean up around the car because my garage is an absolute mess. Never actually recovered from tearing two cars apart. So there is crap everywhere. Um, hell, I'm having a hard time just finding stuff. So what I want to do is I want to get everything, all the clutter off the car. Um, tools, some, you know, you know, lease. I've got them all sitting down on the floor because I got tired of going back to the toolbox and everything. So I'm going to put all the tools back down on the ground where I can find them. Sort of find them. Um, everything I don't need to or whatnot. Uh, basically clean up all around this. I got leaves. I got all sorts of crap underneath this car. Hell, I might even find some tools. So I want to take care of that. Then next, I want to work on getting the rest of the wiring done. But that's going to be a different video. Like I said, on the sensors and all. Uh, I got crap back here still. So basically, I want to get all this taken care of. And so we can start doing some more stuff to the car. Uh, hopefully we can get it started soon and work out all the kinks and everything. Probably just gonna fill the radiator up just with water, some distilled water, just to make sure we don't have any leaks or anything before we fill it up with antifreeze. So then you get a belt. So I'll probably just get me a part list together of things and then get what I need to get for the car before we can start it. Uh, yeah. So guys, uh, like I said, I'm a, this is the brakes are complete. Uh, now I'm just going to get stuff clean up around the car. Uh, so because we still need, I still need to get underneath it, put the drive shaft in, and still need to put a transmission fluid in. Yeah, it's just a, now it's just a bunch of little stuff. To take care of. So guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to like comment don't forget to subscribe ring the bell so you'll know the next video drops but guys we're getting very very close to getting this car fired up hopefully in the next couple of videos uh we'll be able to do that but guys until then like i said subscribe like comment uh hopefully soon we can have some uh Hopefully soon I can have a, we can do a, a live stream or something. I know y'all made some comments on the last video. So, still working on that. And, uh, but until next time guys, I will see y'all later.